Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us read the question on the slide. It says that the cost of 5 meters of a particular quality of cloth is rupees 210. Tabulate the cost of 2, 4, 10 and 13 meters of cloth of the same type. We would solve this example using the concept of direct proportion. Firstly, let us suppose that length of the cloth be x and cost of the cloth be denoted by y. Now we are in a position to construct a table between the variables x and y for which we are given that for 5 meters of cloth we have to pay 210 rupees and we have to calculate value of y for x equal to 2, x equal to 4, x equal to 10 and x equal to 13. We know that as the length of the cloth increases, cost of the cloth also increases in the same ratio. It is a case of direct proportion. This would imply that our condition for direct proportionality will hold that is x1 pi y1 will be equal to x2 by y2. Let us consider 5 as x1 and 210 as y1 and give the notations y2, y3, y4 and y5 to the corresponding values of y. Let us start by solving to find the value of y2. We have x1 is equal to 5, y1 is equal to 210, x2 is equal to 2 and y2 we have to find out. So let us substitute in our formula we get 5 by 210 is equal to 2 by y2. Let us cross multiply we get 5 by 2 is equal to 2 into 210. Let us solve further. We get y2 is equal to 2 into 210 whole by 5. On solving, we will get y2 is equal to 84. That is, for 2 meters of cloth, one has to pay 84 rupees. Similarly, to find the value of y3, we can take x1 by y1 is equal to x3 by y3, where x1 is equal to 5, y1 is equal to 210, x3 is equal to 4, and we have to calculate y3. On substituting the values, we get 5 by 210 is equal to 4 by y3. Again, by cross multiplying and solving, we will get y3 is equal to 4 into 210 by 5 and on solving we will get y3 is equal to 168. Similarly, we can find the values of y4 and y5 that are required to complete the table. Let us proceed to find the value of y4. We have x1 equal to 5, y1 equal to 210, x4 is equal to 10 and y4 will take as y4 only. On substitution and solving, we will get y4 is equal to 10 into 210 whole divided by 5 and we will get the value to be 420 that means if we want to buy 10 meters of cloth 
we have to pay 420 rupees let us complete the table and find the value of y5 we have x5 is equal to 13 and on substitution we will get y5 is equal to 13 into 210 whole divided by 5 and on solving we will get 546 rupees and that completes our table and now we have seen how we will use the concept of directly proportional to solve some of the problems that we come across. Let us read the question on the slide. An electric pole 14 meters high casts a shadow of 10 meters. Find the height of a tree that casts a shadow of 15 meters under similar conditions. Note that in this question we have two variables, the height of the object and length of the shadow. And we also know that, that more the height of an object, then more is the length of the shadow. That means we can use the concept of direct proportion for this question. Firstly, let us denote height of the object as x and length of the shadow by y. Now we are in a position to construct a table for x and y. We know that for when the height of the pole is 14 meters, the length of the shadow is 10 meters and we have to find the height of the tree when the length of the shadow is 15 meters or we can say that we have to find x2 when y2 is given. Now using the property of direct proportion we know that x1 by y1 should be equal to x2 by y2 where x1 is 14, y1 is 10, x2 we have to find out and y2 is equal to 15. So let us substitute the values and solve it. After substitution we get the following expression. Next step is to cross multiply and we will get 14 multiplied by 15 whole divided by 10 should be equal to x2. In solving this we can get 5 3s are 15, 5 2s are 10, then 2 7s are 14 implies we get x2 as 21 and which is the required answer and that means that height of the tree is 21 meters.